All right, Martin, you're going to nail the intro this time. Let's do it. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to another cause and effect Photoshop video. I wanted to thank all of you for commenting on the last video, showing your support, and giving me all these suggestions on what animals I should do next. So to celebrate that, before we head over to the rest of the world, I thought I would take a viewer request. So longtime viewer Xander suggested I try to do a mythical sea creature and requested that I use a whale shark. I learned pretty quickly that uh, fish, sharks, and most other sea creatures they're super hard to mash up together. So full disclosure, my first attempt failed, so I had to improvise. So enough explanation, let's just get right into it. So right off the bat, we've got some cool animals here. We've got the sea otter, we've got seagulls, lots of animals with sea in their name. We've got the sea lion. We've got penguins that don't have sea in their name. Same with killer whales. And I do want to point out here, this killer whale seems to be at SeaWorld. I just want to point out that um, it's really hard to find pictures of a whole body of a whale. Um, not that I support whales being in captivity, it's, it's just a convenient picture to use for this Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get this rolling and uh, see what we can create here. So starting off, we have got the sea lion. Man, these are funny looking creatures. This guy just looks dopey as all hack and I love it. They're super easy to Photoshop because of their round shape. I mean, just a lot of uh, straight lines down the back. This guy was really quick. But sea lions are a source of so many viral videos. I don't know if you guys remember a few years back, the one where uh, the sea lion jumps out and grabs the little girl's backpack and pulls her into the water. She was okay, but man, that was a, a, a chilling video in its own way. It was also kind of funny. Uh, these guys are so cool. They're all over California if you've ever been down there. I haven't, uh, but you know, that's what I'm told. These are really cool creatures. They're really crucial to the, the uh, environment out there, the marine ecosystems, and uh, they're the favorite snack of great white sharks and killer whales. So basically these guys are kind of uh, like the chicken nuggets of the sea, I guess. Uh, they're just tasty little blubber nuggets. So we're going up the, uh, the fin here, and I thought that the sea lion would make just a great body shape because I wanted it to have some land mobility, whatever creature we were creating, and uh, the sea lion just made sense. I don't really care about the whiskers there, because we're not using the whisker. You know how it is by now. We're gonna replace the face and look there's our star We've got the otter already. I can tell I picked a, an otter with the best expression I could find and damn these guys are so cute otters man They are just creatures that capture the hearts of millions man. Not only are they soft and cute You know they hold hands when they float around in the water so they don't drift away. It's so cute. It's so romantic They also have a built-in pocket where they store their favorite rocks, which is kind of weird to say But they have a uh, really uh, flappy armpits I guess and uh, they'll put their favorite rocks in there and they'll use those to crack uh, shells and all sorts of other things so now Next, the head was really easy. Uh, we pop over to the killer whale. Now this is a, a bit of a, an interesting situation because um, killer whale would probably eat everything else that's attached to this body, but we just really wanted the, the back end of the killer whale. I mean, they do have iconic coloring. They are super pretty. Everyone knows what they look like, but I'm looking for mobility. We're making a sea creature here, okay? We've got the land movement. Now we need the swimming ability. And what, what better creature than the freaking killer whale, right? Um, I do want to say again that um, SeaWorld, I mean, I've been there before. I saw that documentary Blackfish. It was horrifying. I have a hilarious radio moment that I'd love to share with you guys one day, but that's another story to tell uh, about uh, being on air and talking about marine land. Uh, it was quite a funny situation. But um, either way, you know, it is sad that these things are kept in captivity, but uh, one good thing that came out of it, I guess, is that we learned a lot about these creatures and we got some great pictures of them that I get to use in Photoshop videos. So now we've got this set up and right away, you get what I'm going for. This, this is why I chose the seal body. It's already got a walrus look to it. It's already looking perfect. I knew exactly the direction I was going in as soon as I had this uh, killer whale out on the board. So I don't know if you noticed there, that was something we picked up in the last video, just kind of warping images so they fit a little better. And uh, we move right on to the penguin feet. Now, I wanted it to have feet, and this looks kind of funny, but you'll get what I mean when it shows up here. But I thought it would be cute if it had kind of like, you know, these little feet and the tail was just kind of like stuck out. Yeah, exactly like that. It looks so funny. So I did a little tester to see how I thought it would look. Uh, but ultimately, I decided, I think, to just use one of the feet and then uh, clone it and reverse it. Damn, I didn't know the penguins had that death spike just hanging out on the ankle there. They... 
these claws look vicious, but I guess you gotta stick to the ice somehow. I mean, these guys just live in the slipperiest place on earth. I mean, I can't imagine uh, what it's like living without traction your entire life. I mean, God, but yeah, I guess I've never spent this long looking at a penguin's foot before, and um, it's a thing of beauty, I guess. If uh, maybe it does something for you, I, I don't know. Who knows? People on the internet are strange. All right, so we've got our little penguin foot. Attach it down there. Little waddly foot. I wanted it to kind of be under the body to kind of show how chunky this creature was. And uh, honestly, it, it turned out so much better than I thought. Um, this creature came together really well, really quickly. And I don't know if this is because I'm taking shortcuts or if I'm genuinely getting better at doing this. I'm going to pretend that uh, it's the second one and I'm getting better at this so this is uh what i was doing before with the snake in the last video on the amazon beast just warping things and i thought we can't have these flippers on the ground if uh this penguin's got feet or it's got penguin feet so i thought we'd try to mess these flippers up stick them up so it almost has like a, a penguin waddle to it when it gets onto uh land and it looks pretty funny i mean it looks a little unnatural at first but i blended out pretty good and um it's pretty funny. I, I like the look of it. And it's got this whole derpy look to it that just, it reminds me so much of the first uh, South American creature we did where it was just kind of cute and silly looking. This is one of those mythical creatures that you'd want to hang out with and just chill with rather than being terrified for your life like the last video we did. And I urge you to check that one out. So now we've got the seagull, or as uh, trailer park boys might call them, shithawks. <laughs> I think a lot of Canadians affectionately call them that. Uh, but you know, you know me, I like having bird wings. And uh, of course, seagulls, they got sea in the name. Of course, they're gonna be part of the marine animal uh, mythical beast. So uh, their wings were pretty perfect, and I thought they have a really iconic kind of bent wing. I mean, whenever you're a kid and you draw those little half M's on the horizon, you're drawing a seagull. I mean, I don't really think, when you think of other birds, their wings are pretty straight out. Maybe an eagle's a little bit different, but these guys have that classic, like, M bent wing look. And, uh, you know, they that so they can blend in to a sign at McDonald's and steal your fries um, when they're not at sea. So the wings, I uh, took my time on this. I know it doesn't look like I took my time on this, but this Photoshop video actually took me a really long time. It took me about an hour, 45 minutes, almost two hours to get this whole creature together. And uh, what we're seeing together here is just a really sped up version of this. I think I spent the longest amount of time uh, on these wings just because I did want them to look good. Um, and this time I decided to just take the entire wing set rather than taking one wing and flipping it. And um, it turned out pretty good. Now. Seagulls, oh god, uh, is burping gonna be a thing in my videos? I think it's gonna have to because I've been recording and I'm not going back, okay? So seagulls, you know, even though they're kind of known for eating garbage, they're just as badly affected by the pollution in the ocean as well. So I thought, you know, as I'm creating this creature, I'm thinking of like a message, you know what I mean? And I thought that this creature of the sea, obviously it cares. It doesn't want you to be throwing your plastic out there. So maybe this guy, he, maybe what he does is he goes down in the ocean with a bag of trash, he finds all your garbage, and then you wake up and there's a bag of just garbage in your backyard because he's just laughing, he's a silly otter, and he's just getting revenge basically. So otters are super furry, talking of otters. So of course we're gonna fuzz them up like we have been doing in the past couple of videos. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting pretty confident with this fuzzy tool and uh, it's starting to look really good. I mean, in the past couple of videos, I was trying to figure out my technique for it, but uh, I think I really got the, the natural look to it because, you know, sea otters, they're so fuzzy, they're so furry. They're so fuzzy, in fact, that when they're born, the mothers just lick the baby otters like crazy to fluff up their fur, and they're literally incapable of drowning. They cannot break the surface tension, and they cannot drown. So I thought, let's add some more fuzz to the rest of the sea lion, even though sea lions aren't that furry, but we'll add some traits to the otter, or of the otter, to this uh, fuzzy little sea lion. And it was a bit of an afterthought as I was doing it, but I liked the way it turned out when I was blending it into the uh, whale's tail. So I thought, you know what, let's do it. Let's just do it. A fuzzy, fuzzy little otter seal. I love it. And it also helps blend in these uh, freakish little penguin feet. Man, penguins have just daggers on their feet. That's terrifying. Good thing they don't have knees or else they'd probably just kick you in the face. All right, this fuzz looking great. It is kind of satisfying to do this. I don't know how you're feeling watching this, but 
actually watching this is pretty satisfying this the fuzz looks pretty damn good so the creature's done the creature was pretty easy to get out of the way i really liked how this was done and uh like before i chose my backgrounds prior i wanted to try a couple out i thought maybe i could have him looking over this cliff uh couldn't see a way that i thought it would look that natural so i decided i'd just put him back on the beach and just try to bury his feet in the sand a little bit but um god we're getting a lot of penguin feet time in this video we're really really getting acquainted with these things all right so i just grabbed the eraser tool and i thought i'd just do it simple here i just kind of make it look rough so it looked like he just planted his feet he's just sitting in the sand maybe he's got a little sand on top of his little freakish penguin toes those thick beefy claws just digging into the sand god it's it looks really good i mean i really hope i am getting better at this and i'm not just taking crappy shortcuts because it feels like i spent a lot of time on this so here we are we've got our creature on the beach mess with his feet a little bit try to get him in a, a position i probably ruined it and then spent like 20 minutes fretting over it but thanks to, uh, to the power of technology you only have to watch me struggle for three seconds so now it's my favorite part of making these videos you know when we start adding some of the crazy elements here so of course we need way more seagulls so we're gonna snatch a few seagulls here off of the internet uh, this is the best part it's uh the asset stealing portion of photoshop where i just google image something with a transparent background and try to put it in as seamlessly as possible now this is uh, an interesting point because i learned a new trick here so uh i've been having an issue when it comes to using the magic wand tool on some things so most of the time i just ignore it but i discovered um the obvious that i can change the threshold so it's less sensitive so as you see here i raise the the number or lower the number down rather and uh, i'm actually able to get a much clearer copy out of this uh little seagull so it looks good he's just part of the squad i thought what are seagulls doing they're either crapping on you stealing your fries or just standing there looking guilty so i thought let's have one just looking guilty there we place him on the rock we had a, a flying seagull because you know where there's one there's always another. They're like drawn to each other. It's like, hey, what are, you, what are you doing down there? What are you doing? What do you got? You found some garbage? There was this thing we used to do in high school. It's terrible. But uh, we used to get like fries from McDonald's and you'd sprinkle it on the top of somebody's car and all the seagulls from on top of the school would come down and just swarm their car and they'd come out from class and there'd just be seagull poop all over their car. It was hilarious. Um, we need dolphins, of course. We saw the cute little hermit crab there, of course. Uh, and the water splash. I'm getting creative here, folks. We get an artistic, all right? We're going to have dolphins splashing, jumping. God, so exciting, so exciting. I guess I just couldn't find a dolphin that worked. I've been having that issue a lot more lately. It's harder to find images that work in these uh, Photoshop instances, but I, I pulled through for you guys here. And again, this was a second attempt. So I, I had spent like 45 minutes on the last one before I realized it was doomed to fail. Uh, this one took me about close to two hours, so I was a little burnt out here. You could say I was a little eager to finish this one, um, but of course, it's a good time. I got to take my time and have fun with it. So we've got the basics. Now, we decided to, or I decided to do a little bit of blending here first, uh, because sometimes I forget to do, you know, little alterations on the creature. It just gives them a bit more depth, a little bit more shadow, and uh, overall, it just makes it look like it fits in that environment. And I think that with those flippers sticking up, um, and with the sea otter face, it just looks so funny. Now, this might seem a little in poor taste, okay? And I was not thinking of what's going on globally right now. I was thinking about like the classic commercial for this beer where they're sitting and the beer's in the sand and I couldn't think of another beer that would be perfect for a sea beach creature than of course a Corona Extra. Now, I hope that saying that, I'm talking about the beer, it doesn't get flagged for some reason, um, but who knows? I would hope that uh, I don't get flagged for this. So uh, we uh, cut it out. It's already in the sand, so it made it super easy just to add into the mix. I could just stick it right there and it already looked natural like it belonged there. And uh, didn't have to do too much work there, but we gotta, we gotta add some limes. We gotta get some limes in the picture. I got the case, the rest of the case of beers. It's kind of like uh, the American beast, the Western beast, how it just had like a cooler of ice filled with beers, you know? Oh, is there another burp coming? Oh, I gotta stop drinking coffee while I'm doing these videos here. Oh, all right, so the Corona looks good. Maybe I should just call it the beer. I don't know, this is, 
This is problematic as I'm recording it, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It's all in good fun. So we've got that. We uh, The first lime that I saved there didn't work out. So we're going to grab that, get a new one, throw it in there, fix it up with my new magic uh, magic wand specialty. I'm so, I'm so skilled. I'm so talented. Look at me go. Get those limes looking good. And this is the best part because I already found... Uh, this, this hermit crab, he's so cute. And I was like, all right, this hermit crab has to be part of the party. This hermit crab cannot, like hermit crabs are special. They're, they're just the coolest little creatures on the beach, I think. I mean, the fact that they just line up, you should check out videos of hermit crabs getting a new shell. It is so cool. They make like a Congo line where they basically take turns uh, switching shells. It's, they line up based on size. And the, when a big one gets out of its shell, a smaller one moves in. So I thought I'd make this hermit crab a cool dude. He's got his Corona. He's hanging out with uh, our cool little beast. And man, this picture turned out so good. I love the look of it. Everything from uh, the way that uh, the dolphin splashing out of the water, the cute little sunglasses on our little hermit crab. We've got the seagulls just creeping out. It just really, really feels magical. So I do also want to give a little shout out to Xander who helped me uh, come up with this idea. I'm sorry, dude. I couldn't get the whale shark working for you. I really wanted to, but uh, that might have to be a video in the future. Um, but if you guys remember my Left 4 Dead streams way back in the day, Xander used to help me out with those. He was always so much fun to play with, and he's actually been streaming on his own. Uh, so I wanted to give a little shout out uh, for kind of carrying the torch for me because I haven't been streaming Left 4 Dead. So I'm going to have his channel uh, linked in the description as well as his name on screen here so that you guys can show him a little bit of love too. And if you've been around and you miss my Left 4 Dead streams, I definitely uh, recommend checking him out. But uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to check out the last videos we did, where we went to South America and uh, we created both a harmless cute creature and a terrifying deadly beast. I mean, I would definitely appreciate that. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button and share it with your friends because it does a whole bunch to help me. And of course, leave your suggestions down below. Get in that engagement, those comments. They really help me get my videos out there and bring a larger audience. We've been getting a couple more subscribers here and there. So I want to welcome everyone new here. And uh, I just want you to know that I appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me so until the next time thank you so much for watching and you guys have a great day